Hi everyone, Alex from Auto Store here and we're going to continue the series talking through how to design an auto store, continuing with the ports. Uh, so this week we're talking about the relay port. Now this is the fastest port that Auto Store can offer. Maybe the fusion port staging might claim to be able to do sort of 950 bins per hour, but we'll get to that later. I'm not sure that's actually realistic. So the relay port itself, so that can do 650 bin presentations per hour. And this was the port that really gave Autostore the ticket to go for the high throughput market and really battle with the shuttles. So we're going to dive into the technical setup, a few examples of how it's been used and um, why it's been so successful. So really to get the most out of the relay port, to get that 650 bins per hour, or minimum sort of 600, you need to have some technology around it to allow for that high picking throughput. So we've integrated with things like auto baggers, um, carton erectors, so all of the cartons are there, they're just picking straight into them and onto a conveyor. Um, tote conveyors or even pouch sorters where we're just picking straight out, placing it in the pouch, and the pouch does all the sorting. You really need to have the ancillary equipment around the relay port to really sweat it. If you're doing picking and packing, stick to the carousel port and doing those 210 uh, bins per hour sort of pick and pack. If you really want to use the relay port, put the 600, 650 bins per hour, you need the ancillary equipment around it. So just showing a few pictures of, of some of the integrations with the relay port. What I'm going to show now is just a short video that came with the launch of the relay port just to just to see the kind of throughputs. quite a cool video just generally to show the relay port what I'm going to go on to now is more the technical side and how it actually works so this is a very similar video to the one we did for the carousel and the conveyor ports in the previous episodes so with the relay port there are eight bins in the port as a maximum and you can see on the left hand side those are the new source tote bins being delivered on that conveyor they'll be shuffled across to the picking area in the middle so that first bin's been picked out of and then shuffled across. So you can see before we've picked all four from all four bins, the next source totes have been delivered. You can see it's a really quick, continuous stream of bins. Now, just to show those source bins that have been picked out of, going back onto the grid, they go back into that central compartment and the robots collect them away. So that's it for this week, and that is the relay port from Autostore, our fastest port at 600, 650 bins per hour, and that's a really realistic throughput. So historically, and, and still currently actually, a misconception within the market, the auto store won't be able to hit those numbers. And once you're over 500 bins per hour, we need to go and look at a shuttle. But in reality, an auto store is absolutely still the way to go. And the total cost of ownership of an auto store is so much lower than a shuttle system. So if you are looking at those larger, faster systems, Auto store is there and can absolutely hit those numbers. Next week, I'm going to compare the relay port to the carousel port and why you'd pick one over the other, price differences and integration differences. Hopefully see you there. Cheers.